in my time in, in Formula Student, I've seen teams with hundreds of thousands of euros uh, actually being lapped by a car that was on a budget of £3,000. Um, and that's because they had problems. So you never know what's going to transpire in the event. So you shouldn't be disheartened by a low budget. See it as a challenge. You know, See how you can be inventive and how can you can manipulate that budget to get the most out of it. My number one top tip, which cascades into other things, is, is start as early as possible with understanding uh, your cost. So from the very point at which your team is formed, um, decide who's going to be responsible for which aspect of it, and every decision you make, uh, consider the implications to cost. Your, your budget is, is arbitrary. You've got to design a car to the budget that, that, that you've got. So there's teams out there with half a million euros that, that will go out and design bespoke engines. Right? That might not be in your capability. That doesn't mean you can't compete directly with them. So the process for costing is uh, split into effectively three. You've got the vehicle cost itself, um, which is 20 points. So um, for a very low cost vehicle, you can score a maximum of 20. The higher cost your vehicle is, the lower the points are you'll score. And um, there's an obvious offset for that, that if you spend more money, you perhaps gain performance. Um, you'll gain points in design for sort of ingenuity and things like that. Um, the next aspect of it is costing your vehicle, so have you followed the rules and regulations, have you used the guidelines presented, and, and I think that's an important point, is everything is given to you as a predefined format. One of the key things that I've always said in cost judging is at the moment as a student, it's 80% of what the car does and 20% about what it costs. You go out into industry, flip that around. Industry is going to be 80% of what it costs and 20% of what it does. Only in very, very specialised environments will that not be the case. So really embrace cost judging and learn from it and it will serve you well in the future. Uh, and then the final aspect of it is the real case scenario. So um, that's a, a final 20 points to get you to the 100. Um, consider the real case scenario in isolation. It's different to what you're doing on the vehicle. Um, and you're trying to demonstrate an understanding of, of real world manufacturing. It's not about building the best, the fastest car, it's about working within your means and delivering a car that you can be competitive in um, and from that you'll probably find that you'll do a lot better than you expected. <laughs>